Hi there, Ken, the Unemployed Prop Guy, here to talk about sewing and leather work and so forth. Um, in the prop world, you always have to make stuff. You're a maker uh, by a design. And uh, <laughs> so what do we make? We make bags. Like, here's one thing I made. Uh, this is for watches. It has my Kenko. Uh, everyday carry watch 101 so I have different bags and I just sewed this up really quick out of um, wax duck and I just put in my watches and this could be for a character like a character has three different watches and stuff and I don't know it's just a way to protect them this is just easy um, let's talk about some of the tools I use um, one of my oops I'm gonna hit this thing all the time I apologize um, one of my favorite new tools is this amazing device. Um, this is a press and snap. Install snaps and grommets easy. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys are aware of like, you know, all these pins and you hammer them in. Well, when you have to do a hundred grommets or snaps, this is a lot easier to use. It has uh, different uh, connections. Uh, let's see. So inserts, I should say. This is for the grommets. You put them in there. Oops, sorry. Yeah, right there. So you put that part there. Then you have, you make your hole, you put it through the fabric, do that. Then you have this and you put in the machine and it presses it. Or uh, here's a snap I'm doing. This is a reproduction of NASA's Apollo uh, Apollo era, they would have tools attached to the string. And I found this uh, shoestring that actually looks very similar to the material they had. And then I cut this out of uh, plastic and uh, I want to put a snap in it. So I attach my tool and snap. So I have the one end there. I put that there. I take my handy machine. Put it there, and then I press. Grab it. There you go. I have the female end of the snap fitted in there. And then I'm going to put some of the uh, numbers, the serial numbers and stuff on that. So, yeah, like I said, I love these, this thing. You could just do hundreds of them and not wear yourself out. Look expensive, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so what else do I have? Well, scissors, of course. These are some Japanese kind of trimming scissors for thread. And then I have, of course, my fabric scissors. And they say fabric only, which... <laughs> you know, you spend 60, 70 bucks on a pair of scissors. You don't want them to get dull. And these are my, what are they? Whatever that word is. <laughs> so yeah, good pair of uh, scissors that are only for fabric. Um, you know, you gotta have, you know, your tape measure, your ribbon thing. Can't remember the name of this exactly. I'm not doing too good today. Um, one of the things I love is one of these. This, uh, for when you have to do quick repairs of things, and you can see my little tag right there that I put on all my tools. Um, so what this is, you open it up and you have thread. So you need some black thread, you just pull it out, and there you go. You have a needle and thread all ready to go to do a quick repair. Um, you set this up pretty much, you put the thread in there, you slip this in one of the designated slots. You take the thread. There's like a little, uh, can't you see? I'm doing really bad today, camera work. You put in the notch and then you just wind it up until the thread disappears. And then you have the different color threads, white, gray, black. And it's just an easy way so you, in, the, in an emergency, you could uh, grab this, boom, Bob's your uncle, as they say. So, yeah, so it's one of the things I do. Uh, what else? Well, 
one of the things I just purchased is this. Let's move it up. This is one of those Chinese uh, hundred and some dollar. I think this one was like 130 because supposedly it has better bearings than the other ones. Um, so this is a shoe uh, repair. It has this long foot right here where you can slip your shoes in. I made this little box that is removable. Um, and then it has, I made a little drawer, a little door, a little, ah, there you go. A little drawer where I keep all my little bobbins and, and so forth and tools. Um, this thing's great. Um, I did some modifications. I obviously, I made this a little prettier by doing my machine uh, tooling or, um, and uh, yeah, what else did I mod? Um, this one is one of those tricky things, like these are really fun, but getting them set up has been really a pain. <laughs> uh, you have to adjust a lot of weird little screws and nuts just to get it running. And there's a bobbin in here, and if you don't put it in the carriage right, it's a pain in the butt. But there's millions of videos online about how to dial these in. Um, only mods I did is I uh, got a little eight ball to turn it. And I'm, I'm hooking up a motor right now to it, but this motor is just not powerful enough. So I'm going to have to find a better motor because this takes a lot of force to get going. Um, I did this little mod where I, I attached an all thread and uh, some aluminum and a little plate so it doesn't, so it gets higher up for the, for the bobbin and the thread. Um, I got a little magnet here to get the bobbin out when you need to. I'm not going to show you that, but, um, and just cleaning it up a lot and greasing it properly. And then I built a little, I welded, here, let's take this off. Yeah, you can see it better. I welded this little extension arm to raise this up. Yeah, my little shop is a mess right now. Um, let's get a better shot of that. There you go. I just welded a piece of steel in a circle to get this high up. And like I said, for shoes or for other things you need to get, this is really great. But when you need a flatter base, you know, the um, shelf that I made works really great. So, um, yeah, let's uh, see this in action. Here, let me get it. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Okay, let's put the shelf in. Thread. Oh, I'm missing thread. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little cut because the thread went uh, haywire. I'll be right. There. Okay, I got my thread. One of the neat little tools also I bought is a lit thread, uh, you know, uh, insert thing for the needle, needle threader. Because as I'm getting older, it's getting harder for me to thread a needle. And so this, you just stick in there, you know, put the thread in there, grab it. Boom. Okay, so like I said, this is a very easy machine to use. It's good because you could go through leather, you could go through just any kind of material you want. Uh, let's cut a little bit of this canvas. Put it down there. Put the foot, it's a walking foot, which is great. And then. Foot up, get the needle up, grab some thread, boom. And just for like quick making bags or so forth, or like, you know, it's not, it's not the best, but hey, you know, it's cheap. I mean, I really want one of those sail maker ones, but those are like a thousand bucks and, you know, I don't have enough uh, subscribers and advertising yet, so this is this is it. So, yeah, like I said, but it's a really nice machine. You could adjust how long the throw of the needle of the uh, how big the stitch is, and uh, yeah. So this is my cheap Chinese shoe sewing machine, and some of my other tools. And uh, let's go talk. Oh, Obama doll. 
this is for another thing I'm doing. We'll talk about that in another day. So yeah, um, you have to learn how to how to sew <laughs> as a prop maker because you're always making stuff. You're always making bags or doing repairs or uh, grommets for banners or you name it. So uh, yeah, let's go talk about leather. Okay.